Greetings YouTube, this is Mr. Gingerbread coming back at you again with a reaction video this time. This is going to be a Tom McDonald reaction video. Uh, he released a cinematic trailer for his albums that are going to be releasing soon. And I think that made sense, at least in my head it did. So. We're just going to go right into it. We're going to see what this trailer is all about. And here we go. State your age. 32. State your country of residence. United States of America. State your name. Tom McDonald. Under Section 4A of the Restrictions on Freedom Act, established by the International Police in February of 2022, you have been found to be in violation of several civil disobedience bylaws. Okay. Inciting public distrust of the government, solicitation of confidential information, anti-institutional rhetoric, unauthorized assembly of civilians with the purpose of protest, okay. and amplifying social unrest. You are a threat to world safety, and therefore you are being charged by the international police for the aforementioned disobediences. So, um, I, I have heard some of his songs before. Um, most recently, the ones that are controversial by some, and not controversial by others. Um, I can s I have a feeling of where this is going. Um... I, I like the, the storyline of this trailer so far. The quality's very good, and I'm actually really impressed with it. I'm very interested to see where exactly this is going to go, though. Or at least the way that he's going to take it. Uh, so. How do you plead? You know what you call disobedience? You know what we used to call that? Freedom. <laughs> And what you call inappropriate, I call necessary. Okay. And what you call lies and conspiracy and anti-institutional rhetoric, I call that the truth. <laughs> oh. Okay. My opinion is that he's bringing up some very good points. Um, with how society is nowadays, I feel like... It's just everything has to be like, oh, this is how I feel, or this is my opinion, and that's a fact. And that's not the case. F facts are facts, and your opinion is your opinion. Now, you can have an opinion that is based on facts, like my opinion is that because of the forest fires here in the Pacific Northwest, the sky is not that blue anymore. That's my opinion. Somebody who might live in Southern California be like, oh, no, because I can actually see some blue, so the sky's pretty blue. Like, two different opinions on the same facts. So, again, it's, it's complicated, but this is something that I feel like our society's lost is the ability to have conversations and discussions with people who don't see eye to eye with you and be respectful but that's nor here nor there you guys really think you run the world huh you think you can just bully everyone and cancel everything you think you can just push us around so we all fall in line <laughs> here's the thing I've been fighting for the world for a long time for the losers and the rejects and the outcasts and the forgotten for the abused and the unwell and the disenfranchised Calm down. that that last one well every single one of those is a very important group but i feel like even more nowadays that last one the the disenfranchised means so much more because of how if you have an opinion that goes against the grain, 
you get canceled or you're labeled as an extremist or a Nazi or a fascist or whatever, just because you have a differing opinion and being able to have people of influence like Tom McDonald being able to shed light on that and push back against the the wave of society is it's good it we're not supposed to all think the same and all be robots that's not how humans are supposed to live so i think what he's been doing is good whether you think he's wrong or right that's not important it's the fact that he has an opinion you have an opinion i have an opinion everybody has their own opinions on everything we just need to understand where each of us are coming from and respect one another no i've been fighting for our freedoms and our safety and our survival and the way that we remember the world used to be true one thing that i always like to go to with just seeing like how far America has gone within my lifetime is just look at how the U S was after nine 11 and how united we were as a country. Yes. There were people who did not support the war we had people from the beginning thinking that it was an inside job and the conspiracies that fell through afterwards. But as a country, even with the people that had those thoughts and opinions, as an entire country, we came together. And now, I mean, look at what happened with the Afghanistan withdrawal i mean it's that never would have happened 20 years ago i've been fighting for the world sit down no nah, i'm not gonna sit down i won't shut up i will not quit i will not back off i won't let you destroy everything that people have spent their lives trying to build i have fought for the world for all my life but do not think for a second that I will not fight against it. That's why you're here. That's why <laughs> no lies detected. <laughs> you think you can stop me? You really think you can stop me? It's been me against the world since I was old enough to think. War, famine, natural disaster. The world has fought it all and won. The world is undefeated. We are undefeated. One man will not change that. You see, that's, that's where you screwed up. They say with great power comes great responsibility. You know what else comes with great power? Ignorance. Mm -hmm. Careless mistakes. The ability True. to vastly underestimate the people who you have power over. And I am not alone. You can lock me up, you can hide me away, you can shoot me down like a dog in the street, but I promise you, you cannot kill this me. This is really good. My word, my message, my vision, my spirit will live on through Hangover Gang forever. And you know what? I guess you're not the only one making mistakes. Because when I said it was me against the world, I was mistaken. It's not me against the world. It's us against the world. But to answer your question, not guilty. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Us against the world. No guts, no glory mixtape. Damn. That is some good cover art. Wow. So September 3rd, guys, get that album or get these albums. Um, the music, fantastic as always. The cinematography was super, super good. Um, that 
I mean, the quality of that, I mean, you could see that in some movies nowadays, so that was really awesome to see. Um, I'm excited to see what what he has in the pipeline for us. All right, guys. Well, that was my uh, reaction to Tom McDonald's cinematic trailer for his dual album release. Uh, again, if you guys enjoy this video, go ahead and click the like, subscribe buttons, leave a comment down below what you guys would like to see next, and until then, have a good one.